Okay, someone asked an airbrushing question and I was gonna make a response video to the um, comment and then I realized <laughs> my airbrush is, I let the color dry inside of it. I haven't airbrushed <clears throat> in a long enough period of time. It's been a couple weeks. So this is well and truly crusted and it looks dark. I'm trying to remember what I airbrushed last. Whatever it is, I think it might be black. So um, before I record my response video, I thought maybe it would be a good time to show you guys what to do about this <laughs> without having to completely and utterly take your gun apart, which is also a useful skill to have. But um, for starters, let's, uh, let's clean an airbrush that has extremely dried on color. Okay, you can kind of see that um, there's some seriously dried on color in there. So here's what we're gonna do for starters. We just need to soak it. I'm using a water bottle because I'm not near a sink. You could, sometimes I'll just go put this, plug this in next to my sink and we're gonna soak it. Before we soak it, okay, this is just a glass jar. You can see the lots of dried color on the bottom. Um, this is what I use when I'm not near a sink and I need to switch colors. Oh yeah, you can see that liquid I just dumped out. It's dark, I think this is black. I'm remembering now <laughs> the last thing I airbrushed was face details on some animal cookies, funny cookies. And so here's what I'm gonna do. Right now I'm just starting out, I'm just using water. I am going to get as much of this out as I can. Uh, the airbrush is not even on right now. We just gotta get kinda, this goes a little faster if you're doing it under the sink. But like I said, I'm not next to my sink, so. And then we are gonna soak it just a little bit. Okay, I do have, you can't necessarily see it. Let's see if I can focus again. You can see it's a lot better. You can actually see before it was just black in there. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up. Now we're gonna turn it on. And if you use this method of having a big cup or jar, um, to clean like your airbrush in between stuff. I, I like doing this because like, like I said, my cooking space is not next to a sink. Um, make sure you have something that's relatively solid, preferably bottom heavy. So like like a tall thin plastic cup, not ideal because it's very light and will blow over. And when you are spraying the color, because right now I'm pulling the trigger, I'm spraying the color, spray it at the side, don't spray it down or it can spray into the liquid and splash back up in your face. So right now, you know, I thought I was gonna have to soak it, but honestly, it's coming out. Okay, so I ran it through the tip. Now I'm gonna put my finger over this tip, the front, and then I'm gonna pull the trigger. It's gonna bubble up and it's gonna be really dark again. So right now, I'm just gonna do this in cycles. Uh, I'm gonna spray it out, fill it up again, cut with the tip, pull the trigger and let it bubble up. I'm gonna do this in cycles until the water looks relatively clear. Okay. So it's not perfect, but it's looking pretty good. So, um, you can see there's some like dark around here. It's better if you do this when it's off so it doesn't spit back at you. But I'm going to spray the tip there. I'm just going to help. And I'm also going to grab a paper towel. See how it's purple coming off. Paper towel is also really useful towards the end of this because you can spray it onto a paper towel to see if the water's coming out clear. Okay, so the tip is looking better. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> okay, you can take this tip off and if it's truly clogged, you'll need to, but um, I'm not gonna do that. I don't do that unless I absolutely have to because those tiny little nozzles are very delicate. And a lot of people, um, so I'm just unscrewing this, I'm just loosening this a little bit so I can pull this needle out carefully. Um, a lot of people, look at that. 
um, will break the threads. Uh, sorry, two thoughts at once. Um, pause on pulling the needle out. So with this nozzle, a lot of people over tighten the threads. And if you do it even just a little bit, those threads, uh, it'll strip it and then it won't work. You'll have to completely replace that nozzle. So um, I don't replace the nozzle or even take it off to clean it unless they have to. Some people think you have to take it off every time. You don't. I almost never have to. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just spray this down with water. There's a lot of black that's caked on there. Okay. Um, now we're going to, uh, before I put it in, now be, always be very careful with this tip, this the tip of the um, needle. If that gets even a little bit bent, it'll uh, mess with your spray. So before I put that in, I'm actually gonna run a little bit of water. Keep in mind that without that needle in there, the, um, there's nothing keeping the liquid from flowing through. So, you know, don't point this at your counter or whatever. It's basically, without the needle, it's the equivalent of you just pulling that trigger back constantly. Okay. Now we're going to gently put that back in. You want to push it all the way forward until there's resistance. Don't jam it in, but you want it to be solidly in place and then tighten that down. And we're going to put the ends back on. Now, there are going to be some people that tell you not to pull that needle out through the back, especially when it has color on it, because you're dragging color through the mechanism. And so those are the people that usually say you have to take the nozzle off and then because you can't push the needle out the front unless that tiny little nozzle is off. But, like I said, I don't take that nozzle off unless I have to. And I don't find that, especially when the, you know, the, the color that's dried on the needle, as long as I wipe everything down and then I rinsed it before I put the needle back in, I don't have any problems. Now we are gonna go ahead and do another run through with this. Going to go in cycles keep doing that. And now's a good time that I can test off a paper towel and see. And now that looks pretty clear. I don't see any color coming out. Done that. And then I like to take my paper towel and wipe out because sometimes there's just a little bit of residue that kind of dries. Yeah, see that? You can kind of see the purple there. Just a little bit that dries inside the cup and that doesn't want to come out, especially since I didn't actually soak it. I often will just put water in the cup and then walk away and let it soak for a while before I come back, but I didn't do that this time. So yeah, you can see some that like that dark. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna actually do it one more time. good and it's spraying really nice and evenly I think you can kind of see in my hand you can't see it because the paper towel soaks it up but you can see a nice even water spray on my hand so this one is good to go. 